Hi there, today we're going to go over how to hitch and unhitch a trailer. People use trailers to transport everything from furniture to garden waste. This trailer has a ball type coupler where the coupler connects to the tow ball of the vehicle for a secure connection. We also have a handle that locks the tow ball and releases it. And we've got a safety latch which keeps the coupler from jumping off during transport. Always remember to have the safety latch in place before driving off. The safety chain connects to your vehicle in case the coupling fails. It has a D shackle which connects straight onto your vehicle. This trailer here only has one chain, however the larger trailers may have two. So if you have two chains, always remember they have to be crossed before transport. The team at your local Kennard's Hire branch can help you connect your trailer before you leave the branch. Next, we've got the light lead connector. This connects the lights of your vehicle to the trailer. All Kennard's Hire branches have a variety of these light lead connectors, so just talk to the team and they'll be able to get the right one for your vehicle. You can't just put a tow bar on any vehicle and off you go. You need to make sure you have the right vehicle for your job. In Australia, the tow ball needs to be 50 millimeters, and in New Zealand, it's 50 millimeters or one and seven eighths for all of our trailers. Also, you'll need to ensure that your vehicle has a suitable towing capacity for your application. You should be able to find your vehicle towing capacity on your tow hitch or in your manufacturer's manual. Next up, we're gonna hitch the trailer to the vehicle. To hitch the trailer, carefully position the hitching coupler over the tow ball. If you have a jockey wheel on the trailer, use this to lower the coupler onto the ball. Once the coupler is over the tow ball, release the handle and the coupler locks into place. Then, lock the handle and insert the safety pin to keep it in place. Connect the safety chain to the vehicle using the D-shackle and make sure the screw is tightened into the shackle's thread and not loosely inserted. Now connect the light lead, which activates the trailer's lights. Check that these are properly functioning. Stow away the jockey wheel and you're now ready to hit the road. Remember, it's an offense if you have any items in your trailer that are not secured tightly. So make sure you have them tied down nice and tight. For any loose items, make sure you have these covered. Kennard's Hire has straps and load covers available. Now we're ready to unhitch the trailer. So first you need to make sure that the trailer is on level ground, and then we're gonna chalk the wheels to keep the trailer from rolling. If you have a jockey wheel, wind it up to lift the trailer off the tow ball. If you don't have a jockey wheel, simply lift the trailer up from the tow ball. Disconnect the light lead from the vehicle, and unhitch the safety chain. Take care not to lose the D-shackle. So there you have it, a look at how to hitch and unhitch a trailer. And please remember always to notice, check, and discuss. Notice if you haven't hitched the trailer properly, double check if you have hitched it correctly, and if you have a travel buddy, discuss with them if you're in doubt whether you have hitched the trailer correctly. The team at your local Kennard's Hire branch are happy to answer any questions that you have about towing and trailers. For more information, visit our Get Inspired page or give us a call. While operating machinery, we recommend using the necessary safety gear, all of which each Kennard's Hire branch has in stock. Follow all safety instructions Kennard's Hire staff give you and always refer to the operator's instructions before operating. Instructions are available on the Kennard's Hire website or ask at your branch. Kennard's make your job easy.